Hello, my soccer universe, and welcome to part nine of the Europa League jersey review. We're looking at Group I, kind of a yeah, so and so group. A lot of uh, Western teams, kind of the opposite to the Group H, uh, where we have three Western teams and then one far out in the east that we look last. Uh, speaking of the last video, uh, did you realize that I did not put the Europa League background up there? You saw all the jerseys. I didn't prepare it, although I really wanted it. So I've prepared it now. Uh, sorry for that. But yeah, we have now five jerseys. For the first time I added Lazio up there. I also decided, yeah, let's put Roma in white to kind of differentiate the two. Uh, red jersey, Arsenal and United. And also note that I had the top D mark on the sleeve there. So yeah, trying to make it good looking back there. What am I wearing? Hey, Germany, Germany 2014. 2014 only because there are only three stars. It's not the one. And there's no World Cup winners patch. They actually won it in that one. So yeah, nice jersey. Why do I wear Germany? Because the seeded team here is Wolfsburg from Germany. So that's, as you know, I always wear a jersey from um, a country of a team that's in the group if I don't have a jersey of the club. Wolfsburg, home jersey. <sighs> Worst jersey this season. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know who came up with that. I wish that this person gets tarred and feathered, or at least fired and never be seen on again. Put away in a dungeon. <sighs> I mean, the most positive thing I say is that these are two lightsabers crossing, but then all this additional pattering. <clears throat> uh, and what spot does X mark? Uh, yeah, the center of the VW logo. With which is actually the new one-ish, kind of. Um, and the angles don't even align. Uh, not speaking of the colors, I mean, dark green, light green, it's just too much. One star. I said a lot about this in the Bundesliga jersey review. Um, the away jersey is actually better. I don't know why we keep with these all weird colors, but you know, this is a very... Um, a light blue that's very strong uh, and fits well with them, them with the light green of the logo and so on. At least they use that one. I think Wasp usually has a little bit of a darker green shade, but it fits nicely. Also, the sponsor on there um, fits nicely with the entire design. It doesn't disrupt it, it actually enhances it, in my opinion, a little bit. Not totally sold on the color, ending more or less uh, at the top of the shoulders. But other than that, I cannot fault it much. Is it exciting? No, but I think it looks all right for that six stars. Speaking of exciting, I think the third jersey for me is the most exciting. Well, first of all, it's white, which uh, makes more sense to me. And then it has all the, you know, it combines blue and green. Maybe the green a little bit too light, but actually the blue is something that I would expect from Volkswagen. So I like that this is kind of highlighted and the, uh, the Nike takes a little bit uh, stage back. Um, the two-tone uh, color is actually a nice feature in this, uh, in this one. This is the best of the bunch. Uh, it is more colorful than in a way, but you know, it has then the white base to balance it out. And I gave the seven stars. I'm sticking with that one. So, let's go to teams that we have not seen, and we start with Ghent. First of all, a new supplier that I have never heard of, Kraft, with the six differently sized dots on there. Uh, other than that, it's blue, with pinstriping in lighter blue, and that is something that I'm not quite understanding, because everything else is white on there. I think that the white might make a stronger look, but you know, I, I, I'm, I'm alright with it. Uh, the other thing is that the Indian in there is then in black outline, with a black outline that's also not quite, yeah, it's a little bit messy. To say, uh, to say the least. Um, if it has the orange uh, double sp sponsor on there, it doesn't look that great. I think without that, I would even be willing to give this uh, seven stars on there. The away jersey, yeah, I <laughs> blew out white in uh, the light blue stays. Uh, the Indian is now in a darker blue. I think this is not black, uh, but the craft is black, and then the two orange ones. Are so 
<laughs> the orange bounces are killing this shirt, honestly. Um, also this weird uh, shape on there. I think it should be a trapezoid. Yeah, it's a trapezoid, but uh, kind of 90 degrees flipped. <laughs> nah, you cannot do this with the sponsor. Five stars. And then, yeah, to really uh, hurt your eyes, we take a neon uh, color and then do the darker blue. I mean, it's the same design. No, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, and then orange on it. Uh, I have the most prob the problem with, with, with the orange sponsor on that. Uh, this is not shirt friendly by any means. Uh, garishness poor. I'm gonna give this two stars. This is just horrible. Well, I just realized that Ghent has at least some dedicated Europa League jerseys as well. Should have done my better research. So let's look at them in the match screenshots that I have. They even have a different sponsor, so it's not all that horrible. I have to say that in the Europa League, the what Kraft crafted, yeah, see what I did there, uh, doesn't look all that bad, to be honest. We have a blue uh, jersey with some light blue. Uh, very light the blue uh, sides, which I think looks nice, but um, very nicely and unique colored. Really not, nothing offensive. We have also a nice sponsor with Hudson on there. Um, and the crest is blue. This is what I want to see. I actually think, I know <laughs> I gave Nike jerseys that are just templates, not much, but this one looks nice. It's enough for me for seven stars. Um, I can say something very similar for the away jersey, which is the same thing in white. Maybe the black Hudson sponsor bothers me. Um, and it's a little bit less exciting. I think the blue is really exciting. The white, not so, so much, uh, but it's still enough for five stars. So honestly, uh, in Europe, Ghent is looking much, 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 much better than in the league. Um, I'm not going to be that strict with Saint Etienne. Uh, they have the classic green jersey uh, like Fiorentina but unlike Fiorentina who have it all in more or less one tone um, Saint Etienne has a slightly darker shoulder part where the crest is and I don't like this uh, it looks like there's a cape going I mean maybe there's a superhero uh, intended also uh, note uh, how big the sponsor is on this picture in the Europa League he, the sponsor is way smaller and you don't have the Loire uh, stuff on there. The nice touch is the little French flag going around and I think even on the side there's a little bit of French flag like Fiorentina has it. So I mean the temple is not that uh, bad. It's just don't I don't like this cut and then why do you uh, color it differently? Uh, that kind of puts it down for me and ruins those nice touches and only a six star. It gets even more annoying with the away jersey where if you have a green shoulder and then white. It's not a bad idea, it's just this shape does not look good. It is, uh, are we monks? What is this? What should this be? Uh, mm, it does not make much sense to me. Yes, it is nice to have white and then accent with green, but you know, if you just take the sleeves or, uh, you know, uh, take the upper shoulders, but not this, uh, enhance the shirt by giving it like kind of an arched feeling. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm afraid I can only give this four stars, although the idea is not bad, but <clears throat> this line, I don't like. Uh, for the third jersey, they do it best, but then they choose grey. We saw a lot of great, great jerseys in this uh, recently. Mm, grey, grey. It's not. It's so not my favorite color, and for that reason, I also cannot go really, really, really high with them. But at least I give this a five star rating. And then we are at the most complicated team for me to find. One of the two. That's Alexandria from uh, Ukraine. Um, I only find match pictures. And here we see the home jersey is yellow with some black side strapping. It's your classic Nike template. Doesn't do much wrong. But is it exciting? No, it's not either. But you know, uh, at least it's there. It's a yellow jersey. That's fine by me with the crest on there. It's enough for five stars, to be honest. Um, with the black uh, pants, you know, it is well, it is well, well, what it is. Let's uh, pull it that way. Um, the away jersey, I only found one picture for the away jersey, and that's a white jersey. Um, 
the same thing. Is it exciting? No. Is it bad? No. It's a classic five star jersey. I cannot say more, but I don't want to say less about that either. Well, that concludes part uh, nine. Tell me which jerseys you liked and which ones you disliked, whether you agree with my assessments or not. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you.